Oh, hello, it's me again. And I'm at Origin in a bathroom. And this non-original audio, because the original was all cracky, crackly, is here because I'm going to show you how to make some coffee plants from these coffee seeds. From Gera region, and it's, um, they told me it was just collected from forest around there, so that kind of interested me to try to cultivate some of it. We did this, like these few cherries here. I just pushed the coffee out by squeezing it. Whoa! So I'm not putting it on the bedspread, it's on a piece of toilet paper. Use a paper towel or any kind of absorbent paper. Get rid of the skins. And basically I just fold it over. Kind of push it flat to get the moisture out. And I kind of just let it dry this way using the paper towel to kind of wick out moisture. And I try to leave it just exposed to air. Um, and then I will put that, whoa, sorry. I will put this into a plastic bag. Um, try not to do that too soon or else it'll start to mold if it's stuck in there. And usually if uh, I travel and have to put it in a bag during the day at night, I open it up. And eventually that paper is just going to stick to those seeds. So a coffee is a seed until, let's say, it's dried no more than 25% moisture. When you buy green coffee, like from Sweet Maria's, that coffee's been dried usually to 10 and a half, 11 percent moisture, and is no longer viable seed. So sometimes you succeed in getting um, a green coffee to grow, but it's it's pretty rare. These, when I take them back, probably four out of five seeds will grow um, with this method, and that's because it's still in the parchment layer. Still has the mucilage on, I don't know if that matters, the fruity skin. And so this is later, much later. In fact, these aren't even the seeds I brought from Ethiopia. These are from El Salvador, where I found a really cool variety planted. Cafe Lorena, Lorena, Lorena which is a naturally low caffeine coffee variety that's from Border Bon, uh, Reunion Island. And these are some pots that I actually keep on top of a sort of a heater to just keep them a little bit warmer because it's winter here. Yes, I know. Don't laugh. And these are, this is a pot where I was just planting them. So all I'm doing here is pulling them out of my toilet paper <laughs> uh, and gosh okay I could um, sort of wash that off I don't really see the point um, and then I just basically push it in about tip of my finger one inch push it down there pack it in Got my favorite soil here, which is super soil. That's a brand, it's not like woody. It has a lot of peat, holds a lot of moisture. I'm gonna leave that and then uh, once a week I water these. I have my tags, look it's a yellow bourbon from Los Palomas del Sur. And uh, sometimes I write on the pot, Kenya Muranga. And honestly, my plants don't do great here, um, but they're okay, you know. I don't really fuss over them that much. I could go trim off the leaves and stuff, and you know. There's plants, here's some. And this is a Maragahipe from Honduras from February 2016. Almost a year old, and that's the growth, so. 
you could do better. You could do better. And then I'll show you. Here's a couple big ones out here. So that's, you know, that's seven feet something, but um, I keep trimming these down. And what I do is just cost savings is I put them in big galvanized trash cans instead of buying fancy fancy things although if you have an Ikea they have, do have some awfully nice um, large planters that aren't, aren't outrageously priced this one it's been cold out um, they could they can make it out here I sometimes bring them in but and like I said I don't really fuss over them to make them as pretty as they could be I could find some other place to put them but they they survive and I enjoy it um, yeah coffee at home coffee plants at home